Oh, I didn't see you there. Come join me, won't you? Thank you. Hi everybody, thank you very much for coming and visiting me once again. I'm wrapping up my season number two, uh, My Musical Family and Friends. Uh, I will be starting season number three soon, but without any further ado, I'd like to introduce to you my sister and my niece, Larissa and Victoria. Hi guys. Hello. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thank you very much for the opportunity to, for me to ask you some questions as part of the ongoing uh, saga. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, episodes are, are coming to a close, and uh, you guys had said yes for a quick interview. Thank you very much for taking the time. I have been doing music for quite some time. Uh, stage performances and uh, uh, solo acts, uh, acts and bands, and you've been there to support me there, so thank you very much. But uh, I want to know more about how you fit into uh, uh, the musicianship uh, aspect of growing up in our amazing family. You want to tell us something a little bit about that? Sure, happy to do that. So, as far back as I can remember, music's been a staple in our family. Um, the salient moments I recall include um, family sort of shows and um, showcasing of our talents at, at gatherings with family and friends, that including um, songs on the piano, singing, and some violin playing and as well as some other um, instruments and uh, what else uh, that I recall vividly is singing in the car and long car rides to Detroit or elsewhere all the classic songs that we all know and love <laughs> yes <laughs> Barry Manilow Larry Gatlin and Gatlin Brothers uh, and ABBA yes yeah, exactly yeah not the Beatles no yeah, different kinds of classics, right? Yeah. Kinds. Yeah. Uh, which I appreciate to this day because that music, it doesn't go stale, right? Yeah, well, you had Mamma Mia that came out, and uh, I uh, was able to appreciate that movie, not for its uh, physical content and acting, but definitely for the music. And as we grew older, I recall a lot of basement jams, you and your band, or you and colleagues and peers, Kind of playing guitar, strumming. We had the disco ball going. <laughs> three, three. Yeah, exactly. So it was a real kind of studio slash uh, studio fifty four, if you will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tiny desk with a curtain. Yeah. Oh yeah, that star-studded curtain. I won't forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah it's active. <laughs> and then up until recently, you know, we would, you know, Christmases and other holidays and our mom's retirement. Like we, we performed, right? We yes. Rehearsed, we, we recorded. And it was, we didn't miss a beat, I think, um, and I, I, I value those times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. W whenever there was an opportunity, for sure, uh, we uh, got together and it became natural just to harmonize, uh, to sing together uh, at the drop of the hat. Um, there were times, uh, and I still feel sometimes uh, like, I, I'm not your dancing monkey, um, but when the occasion calls for it, uh, if I can understand the reason why we get together to be able to celebrate to do so with harmony is is uh, a, a manifestation of that and um, when I think back to those days I'm like yeah I'm glad I participated with that I mean it took a little bit of uh, coaxing for me in particular um, and uh, but uh, fitting in was really nice and uh, still have lots of good memories and hopefully you guys are, are making more memories. You had mentioned about uh, participating with um, me and other friends when we had got together to do things like pub events, the old sod or testing the dates. You used to uh, 
work with some people that would frequent those places and you helped make that place packed so thank you very much for that well what are you doing these days for, for music are you listening to anything new um, are you playing instruments because I know you'd uh, done some stage work back in high school and afterwards uh, are you doing anything currently so currently the answer is no unless you count which you know I shouldn't just count this um, our daily singing that we do Victoria and I in the car we love to play music oh nice and sing along to the songs that we love and at home Victoria which she'll tell you about a little bit later she is an avid piano player I've heard and, and I've seen and I've recorded some Having yeah. fun. Yeah. Um, one of my um, most recent memories is coming over and seeing you guys there in Toronto. Uh, my mom ho hosted me, and uh, you guys that came over to celebrate that, and uh, we played ukulele and guitar together. Uh, something about finding a peanut. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that was. And, and how many verses? Maybe twelve. Oh yeah, yeah. That's an epic saga. It's 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 like a whole Campbell monomyth of finding a peanut and he getting into the underworld, that. and then coming yeah. back triumphant. <laughs> it's true. It's the hero's journey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, actually, I, I failed to mention just yesterday. So I teach at the Faculty of Education, and um, to uh, the year one future candidate, I taught. A song that our mom actually, I'm not going to sing it, um, taught her students when she was a music teacher um, for uh, many, many. And so she coached me and helped me learn this song so that I could teach these primary junior teachers the song so they could use it in their future classrooms. And oh. so I guess, yeah, it would really come full circle, right? From our mom teaching, then teaching us, and then us embracing song and music and exploring different genres to, and then moving on further into our, into our careers. And then it coming back and becoming, you know, prominent um, in what we're doing today. And so I really wanted to highlight that because, you know, I guess it was such an important part of our lives that, you know, we keep it and it evolves with us as we grow. And if we're able then to uh, weave it into the the things that we find important today that can actually um, be a part of somebody else's life. Like Absolutely, here. yeah. It's a, it's richness. It, uh, it adds meaning and value and good memories and can foster its own growth. Yeah. Yeah. Victoria, you're here. Thank you so much for participating. Um, what do you like about music? Why is music fun? Okay. My emotions and stuff. Yeah, I know sometimes when I feel sad, um, I'll put the music on and it'll take me into a different kind of mood shift. It'll uh, take me along for a ride. And either if I want to go happier or sadder and express myself, I find that important too. Uh, I know you have an Alexa and sometimes you ask Alexa to play music. Do you still do that? Fun. Um, 
you were uh, with your cousin and uh, you guys were having fun <laughs> putting makeup on me <laughs> and a wig. <laughs> and you guys were putting on music from Alexa too. And that just adds a little bit of spice, right? It's like frosting on a cake, would you say? Yeah. Music can yeah. make things that much more fun? I think we've ever heard that metaphor before, so you might have to think about that for a bit, but that's a good one. Yep. Um, and if you uh, play the, the songs um, from the past, they remind you of things that you used to do when you, were, when you were having fun, too. So they could act as a memory cue. They say that's really popular in dementia. Um, uh, I, I have memories of playing certain songs when I was playing with Tom in Smoking Mirrors, for example, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I haven't played this song in 20 years. And then all of a sudden I remember being at Testing Me Dates, putting on a show, having you there, having your friends there, um, and having my buddies there. We would all hang out together and it was such a good time. I play that song and I've got these memories. Um, same thing with uh, certain songs, uh, Victoria, that you were playing on the piano. You have an app where the music floats past you and you play the triads, you play the chords. And uh, I'm always going to remember those songs because you played them. So music has got that cool memory aspect. Uh, what do you want to do with your musicianship? Do you have any particular goals? Do you want to sing on stage? Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you still have that tape recorder and microphone um, uh, um, toy? No, but I wanted to add that she has sung on stage as a part of a choir last year, both in uh, English and Ukrainian. Oh, yeah. really? What, what was the event? Was well, summer. Yeah, just in June. In June, it was uh, in honor of Ukraine. Um, and so it was a few songs that were written and performed by uh, a trio. Do you remember what the trio was called? Yeah. And, but I don't. I think it was called the Griffin Trio. The Griffin Trio, yeah. Okay. Cellist, a uh, violinist, and uh, yeah. and a pianist, yeah. Nice. And, and then, yeah, it was all of the grade twos, the grade ones. No, oh. just just grade twos to grade sixes or something. That's right. Yes. They learned uh, two or three songs and they sang them, and uh, it was really beautiful. So, yeah, well, this is the first I've heard that you'd like to continue on stage. <laughs> I mean, why not? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mom's being on stage, you being on stage, why not Victoria on stage, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, something I want to quickly mention um, about um, uh, Ukrainian music. I have a gig coming up. Newsflash. Um, I, uh, I'm going to be playing at the Book Nook on the 1st of October. And one of the songs I'm going to do is a song that I've been playing already this summertime in gigs, whether it was the uh, Battle of the Bands or uh, the Father's Day uh, Johnny's Eatery gig that I did this summertime. Um, I play the Ukrainian National Anthem. And I tend to follow up with Chervono Ruta. And uh, people are eating or they're you know, milling about doing what they do. And then I mentioned that, it's a, that was the Ukrainian National Anthem because they just heard a song without English. And they're like, oh, wow. And they start clapping tremendously because of the news and events. So uh, to bring that to people's consciousness, uh, having that raising of awareness, I think, is an important piece. And it's yet another way of uh, music to be able to be used. Yeah, to your point, Victoria learned... Ukrainian national anthem, Shchenev Medla Ukraina. Yes, I heard you sing it. That's right. She played it at her piano recital back in June. Oh, is that a piano recital? Okay. Uh, I, I saw a video where I think our mom had uh, sent us to, it was a, a, a cappella, it's an accompanied piece. Uh, I was really impressed. She got the whole thing and um, some of the chromaticism. Da! Towards the end. Wow, so playing on stage and, and performing in front of other people isn't daunting for you, Victoria, hey? You like doing it? No. No. <laughs> you don't like performing in front of other people? But it's not scary. It's not scary. Yeah. 
that's uh, something I think that is easy to overcome if you ask me personally, but I'm happy to hear that you also don't have any anxiety when there's a job to do and you got to perform, you just do it. There's no point in being all, oh, anxious, there's other people, oh, I wonder what I'm going to sound like, I wonder what I'm going to look like in front of other people. No, just go up, do it, because you know you can, you've done it before, you've practiced, and it's going to be awesome, people stand up and clap, and it's done. There'll be a lot more of that, for sure. In the <laughs> do you have any favorite musical movies? Yes, absolutely. Can we name a couple? Okay, well, we love The Sound of Music, of course, it's a classic. Oh, yes, that is a classic, for sure. Uh, we also love Annie. Oh, nice! 1982 Annie. Well, no, actually, that one was good, but we were really into the, um, the reproduction of it. I don't know if you've seen it. No, no, I haven't. With um, Jamie Lee Fox, and I don't remember the actress's name who played Annie, but yeah, it was really, really well done. Okay. They added, a, they added a few musical numbers to it. It's more contemporary, for sure. And uh, we watched Hamilton. We love that one. Nice. Hey, we, because we watch these together and we love them together. Yeah, I remember, I know that Disney comes up with a lot of classics too, Pixar, that sort of thing. Um, uh, I, I, for some reason, I had never seen, when it first came out, um, uh, that little uh, a robot that comes up. He's a trash collector and he goes up into space. Um, they use uh, Hello Dolly in as part of like a main um, story arc. Uh, almost like a, a corollary, and you had done Hello Dolly, uh, you were the star, and our grandmother was so impressed, I remember afterwards. Thank you so much for this opportunity, we've uh, enjoyed sharing this with you, and mm -hmm. uh, I love your, the series that you've done in honoring, you know, your past, present, and your future, and for including us in it, so um, thank you, much appreciated. Oh, you're very welcome. Yeah, this has been a joy, putting things together like this, and to, to see you guys having yet another reason to connect with you all, um, and then going to see you guys in the flesh and laughing about, you know, the shenanigans that I'm doing over here in rural Alberta. <laughs> and uh, for me, at least, um, I, I really am grateful for, for that and for yeah your company and for for having those memories together and for making more memories because victoria loves her uncle adrian so. <laughs> thank you and uh i love you to victoria as well thank you again for that card you sent last christmas with me playing guitar on a stand within a microphone uh, i have that in my office and i tre treasure that i look at it every day so thank you uh -huh. if, if you want to send more artwork i can post it up here i have a little advert um, and my set's going to be changing. Uh, I have more ideas of uh, putting together for production stuff so I can come up with season three, uh, particularly focusing on vocals. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, uh, this is going to be a wrap. So thank you very much for, uh, again, uh, making the time so I can do the interviews. And you at home, what do you, the viewers, think? Have you got a musical family that uh, you should spend some more time with or have got some amazing memories and can snap back together again with just a, a few bars of a song? Let me know in the comments section. And, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, if um, uh, I have an opportunity because of work, I'll try to... Um, get back to you and we'll be able to start a dialogue and we can uh, even plan for future videos here in Athabasca. Alright guys, thank you very much once again. Love you lots. Bye bye.